welcome to It's Kind of a Funny Podcast. I'm Philip. And I'm Sean. Yay. Bum, 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 bum. 934 days. That's what I was going to ask, because last, uh, last time you didn't say anything, uh, we forgot to check in with you. So. That's because I was doing heroin <laughs> that day. I was going to say it'd be funny if you were like, one day. <laughs> and I was like, what, Sean? One whatever. podcast. Do a whole podcast. You don't ask one. about it. Yeah. And I well, was like, fuck it, nobody cares. <laughs> well, no, I just meant one day, like it's back to zero. Cause, oh, right. Know, yeah. But um, the... Uh, oh, 13 hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, this is our 100th episode. Yay. And I wanted to go through, it's a long little list that I made this morning. And um, oh, I didn't turn my phone off. Um, it's uh, so we've talked about all kinds of things in the ninety-nine previous episodes. So here's a list of them: uh, sperm extractors in hospitals in China, how to stretch your foreskin, hunting a man for ten thousand dollars, fucking a golden girl, deep throating a balloon, sword fighting with a blind kid, dick dynamite. That's, uh, you know, Sergio's name when he's his alias when he's on the show. Some I forget where he found the name, but I was like, Dick Dynamite, your name. Uh, a snap penis. Beaver's cock on your belly or your face. I had uh, asked. Just go on with the list. We you can don't talk wanna, about them later. I was going to ask you. What, we'll uh, talk about right, them later. All right. Um, the West I should Point, have a pen. I know. I need something to write with. The West Point pillow fight. Uh honeymooner style wife beating mm. um you and i had uh you and i had that discussion uh abbott and costello meet the empire mm. the twice cut off penis hitler twice? <sighs> these dogs um sorry about that hitler in a video game remember i was like yeah oh. yeah lethal weapon versus Die Hard. a stripper named peanut butter an oj simpson video game mm, we should bring that up because uh Inst OJ News. That's right. Instant noodles make babies gay. Uh, where is that at? Uh, what to bring for a murder. Masturbating karaoke singers. How to have sex with a midget. Hearing voices. Doggy AA. You and I had that one. Pew bloob. A camera in your dick. Cutting your face off with a chainsaw. 21 severed vaginas. The pussy snorkel. It's almost done. Trust me. Eating a guy's face, pissing the bed in boot camp, sushi pizza and tuna tacos, mm -hmm. semen smoothies, chicken with teeth, banana and mayonnaise sandwiches, <sighs> fuck dolls, edible shit burgers, the donkey girlfriend, the human fuck calendar, whore drama, saving your daughter from drowning in bukkake, licking Zartan, and <laughs> alien abductions. So, yeah. Licking Zartan. Yeah. But uh, here's a paper. Now that now I'm, now that I'm yeah, now it doesn't. Well, you might have ideas that pop off that you want to you know say something. I don't know. Um, but uh, okay, there you go. And then uh, that's the list that we're gonna go through on. Uh, he if people that aren't watching the show, he just gave me the look because I took one of his. Uh, that's right. I was like, pen, wait a pens. minute. That's right. They're I actually had to go out and buy some of these because I do yeah. very much like them and they last forever. Yeah. There's like so much ink in them. If nobody knows, it's the G2 pilot pens. Um, but yeah, I started using well, them at work. Well, and that's where I told you that the one that pissed me off was the girl goes, hey, can I, can I borrow, you know, do you have an extra one of those? Like mm -hmm. she was at work and I go, Sure, and so I gave her one, and she was like, thanks. And then the very next day, she's like, can I have another one of those pens because I lost it? Oh, yeah, I get like, that. I, I like, have those no. zebra pens all the time. Yeah. And doing my meetings on Tuesday because I always have different people that are, you know, because it's, it's at a halfway place. So they'll just, if somebody, you know, if a co-chair doesn't show up anymore, then they'll replace them with somebody else who's a resident there. Yeah. And the co-chair always signs the slips and everything like that, and they never have a pen. So I give them a pen, and like this, you know, the one girl is like, oh, that's a nice pen. Can I have that? I'm like, okay. And then she got a job in the office. Uh -huh. And she's like, oh, I lost that pen. Do you have another one? I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I lost that pen. Can I have an And I'm like, what are you, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Um, you know, so 
it was uh yeah and those zebra pins are like the same they're expensive you know yeah metal or whatever and not and that they're extremely expensive no but no for but somebody just to lose yeah. when like you said it lasts a long time right now you can so. add uh pin talk to our yes to our list yes um go through the the list again um okay hang on where am i at okay um oh hang on okay um, ba -ba -ba, sperm extractors in hospitals in China. Nope. Uh, no, you don't like that? Uh, it's yeah, basically that like wasn't, a flashlight is what Joe and I were saying. Um, how to stretch your foreskin. Don't care about that. Hunting a man for $10,000. That's way too little money in today's, uh, today's economy. Well, it was, uh, yeah, it was, this guy was offering money. To like, he was trying to start his own like reality show. Oh, and it was like, you give me ten thousand dollars, you can hunt me and try to kill me, and I'm really good. And Sergio and I were like, we should go. First time somebody's successful, <laughs> his show is done. Exactly. We're like, we should go. And then we talked about how we'd fucking probably miss him and just graze him, make him a vegetable for the rest of his life, and feel bad and about you'd it. Still end up going to jail because I'm pretty sure that you, regardless of how many things you sign and waivers and stuff like that you can't hunt a human <laughs> yeah, yeah for money exactly. yeah i was like is that legal i don't if he says I'm pretty okay? yeah no yeah. i don't just because somebody says it's okay <laughs> yeah. doesn't mean it's okay like i can tell you that i want you to kill me because yeah, i yeah. have really bad heartburn and yeah. and i can sign every piece of paper but if you do it you're still committing a crime yeah exactly just like anal sex oh um, that ain't a crime uh, oh yeah to uh, <laughs> all the ladies out there, it's not a crime. <laughs> hey, it's not. ladies, um, and it's not—you're not wasting your virginity. That's right. Uh, fucking a golden girl—that's just odd, but I would do it. That was where I had f Mary kill. Oh, gotcha. On the golden yep, girls, even though one. there were four of them. So then we, you know, figured it out. Uh, deep throating a balloon. Meh. That was some girl I saw in Mexico that I, she popped it and then pulled it out, and I mm. thought, well, that's kind of cheating in a way, because was it just bunching up in her mouth and she wasn't right, showing it right. you know whatever um it was weird uh where else am i at uh sword fighting with a blind kid that was joe fighting a his blind friend mm. uh dick dynamite a snap penis bieber's cock on your belly or your face uh the was that like a what would you oh yeah you yeah, rather? So, yeah so that was these headphones seriously um that was a um, Just oh. take them off, or they're gonna. I know. Oh, I got it. That's why you couldn't hear yourself. Oh, there it is. Somebody's not preparing for the Somebody show before. Didn't. Well, you know, I'm busy making notes. I was gonna have you mm. do the alien uh, story, um, not story, but all the research. Um, yeah, it was one day. So we saw, we saw in the news. It was remember Bieber had a picture that came out of him like out on a balcony, and his dick was out. Oh, and it right, was like yeah. a pretty prominent dick, and it wasn't even yeah. hard. It was just, right. you know, he's one of those uh, showers, not like Sergio and I growers. I don't know about <laughs> you. Are you a grower or a shower? I'm a grower. Right, yeah, yeah, me too. But it and doesn't uh, grow that much. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Like Kevin Smith says, his looks like, a, like one of those that his mom had. My grandma had one, too, the little tomato that you put all your pins in when yeah. you were yeah. sewing. Yeah. Um, so... Um, so I said, would you rather have, like, I'm going to give you, like, whatever amount of money to put Bieber's cock on your belly or just lay it on your cheek for, like, a little bit? Like, you know, you get more money, of course, for the cheek. And Sergio's like, no. And I'm like, I don't know. I might have to I might put on my belly and, you know. Depends but, on the uh, money because uh, I really yeah. give two shits <laughs> exactly. what anybody, you know, if you're paying me yeah. enough money yeah, exactly. and I just have to have a penis laying on my face, well, I'd be like, Okay. It's almost remember the thing on Howard Stern where that guy was gonna do get fucked by Lex Lexington Steele who had the big dick mm -hmm. and he was gonna get fucked with it. But all you would see is his face through a black curtain, and then he'd be fucked in the ass. And they were gonna give him like twenty five thousand. Then it went up to like forty. Like it was starting to increase because yeah. Howard really wanted to see it. And the guy ended up like, no, 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 I can't. It was the engineer, I think. And uh, but that was like oh yeah that God. that I wouldn't do because that's like <laughs> actually yeah getting that yeah that's by somebody gonna, yeah. and that was you know yeah but um the West Point pillow fight that was uh some some kids got in trouble for that Joe had that story 
uh, honeymooner style wife beating. You and I talked about like old TV, mm -hmm. and we were talking about how uh, crazy that was. Abbott Costello meet the Empire. Like uh, that would be know, funny. Yeah, Joe and I said that'd be great. Uh, twice cut off penis was a news story I read where a lady cut off the guy's penis. He had it reattached, and then she cut it off again in the hospital. Oh my God, that's awesome! Yeah, good uh, for her. And then Hitler in a video game, which pretty much now Wolfenstein. I think the new Wolfenstein comes out mm -hmm. this month mm -hmm. um, in October. Yeah. Um, which with mm, uh, video game news. Uh, video game news. Destiny yeah. is not holding my attention like it used to. So oh, really? it either hopefully changes or I'm going to need another game to play in between things. So um, <laughs> uh, and then speaking of that, I have, if it's the same Wolfenstein, I have that. The first uh, World one. War II video, right. the one that came out, the recent one. Oh yeah, 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 and it was pretty good. So if you want to borrow it, I uh, I still have it. The world, the what now? It's a World War II one. It's called Wolfenstein. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what this one is. This yeah. is Wolfenstein: The New Colossus. It's a new one that's coming. Yeah, out. have you seen the trailer for it? No, I haven't. Oh my god, it's fucking but hilarious. They're tripping acid in it. Oh really? Like the guy drops a hit of acid in the trailer, uh -huh. and then this little like rainbow neon lizard thing pops out and it's running on it's like no little guy you gotta stop little guy, and there's like bullets going off and shooting and everything like that going off all over the place he's trying to get his little fucking imaginary fucking lizard uh, and so great. it looks like it and apparently it's a it's a direct sequel of the one that you played oh cool so it's supposed yeah. to be it's supposed to be awesome and it goes right into it and it shows a part where it's like the nazis won mm -hmm. and they took over they've taken over parts of america the united mm -hmm. states and this German officer guy goes into like a diner and he's ordering a, a milkshake. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Oh, yeah. And it's like, it's very much like Inglorious Bastards and yeah. stuff like that. And he's like, Hi, little kid, and, uh, and all this stuff. And yeah. it's really, it's That's really kind of cool. cool. You should check it out. I will. Um, then, uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, Hitler in video game, Lethal Weapon versus Die Hard, which was that like was one, one of the biggest downloaded things. Um, which I was thinking we could do, even though they're not directly, but they're both the best of the Should series. Should we do uh, Lethal Weapon 2 versus uh, Die Hard 2? Oh, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Um, well, Lethal Weapon 2 would win, I think. Um, but Oh, the, um, you think so? Huh? That's right. Uh-oh, that's a challenge. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Challenge accepted. Um, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Then you do Lethal Weapon Three. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh, is uh, that okay? I messed yeah. up then. No, Die, Hard, yeah, with Die Hard Two was, was Die Harder. That was on the airport. The airplane. Oh God. And then uh, Die Hard Three was. I need to go back and the review these these shows. Like today, I, I didn't have really anything to do. If I went to not been feeling well, I I yeah. wanted to watch Doctor Strange because mm -hmm. I've still never watched Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, just other Marvel movies. Like, I still have that program that rips the movies to my iPhone. So, I've got uh -huh. a bunch of movies on my iPhone. Uh, legally. Like, no, yeah. no, legally, because <laughs> right. I purchased them no, I from you. iTunes. I um, but, yeah, I meant to do that. So, maybe when I go home, yeah. if I'm still not feeling well, I'll just curl up in bed with a chihuahua between my legs and uh, watch I Doctor know, what Strange. What is it with these chihuahuas? They li like, but my other one doesn't burrow as much. It's getting more into burrowing. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, Midori loves to just oh yeah get down yeah. there between my legs, yep. between my ankles or whatever, and go to sleep. Chico comes into my room on the weekends when I'm home on the weekends, uh -huh. and he doesn't like it when Sandy gets up and moves around. He wants to to cuddle all day long, so he mm -hmm. comes in. His place is right beside me on the left hand side, and he comes and lays down right beside me. And I pull the covers up over the top of him, and he just yeah noses out all day long. But he That's wants awesome. to be covered up, and you know wants That's, to. That's uh, uh, Owen used to do that. Yeah, not like this. Not but, like yeah. that, but sometimes mm -hmm. we get up there with you. Um, it's Owen reincarnated. Mm. Um, a stripper named Peanut Butter, which I don't think was really a discussion. I think I was. It was Colleen's first time on the show, oh, okay. first time live on the show, and we said something, and she said a stripper named Peanut Butter would be a weird name for a mm -hmm. stripper. And then I said, I'm going to title that right stripper named Peanut Butter, and there'll be nothing in there about a stripper named <laughs> Peanut funny. Butter. That's funny. Um. And then an O.J. Simpson video game. Oh, that's what I, I want to bring up. O.J. Simpson. Um, moment of silence for all the victims mm. in Las Vegas that happened last night. That was yeah. fucking nuts. 59 yeah. people it dead. Was, over was, 500 people injured. Yeah, and it was almost like a Charles Whitman thing where he just 
you know, shooting, you know, Charles Whitman. Yeah. And, uh, well, and they're saying now that Austin. he had like 40 guns up yeah. in the room, um, that he had bump fire stocks on at least one of the rifles, which is those things which allows you to rapidly fire the, oh, yeah. the gun faster than you can normally pull the trigger or whatever. Because I was thinking, I'm like, that sounds like fully automatic gunfire. Yeah, yeah. You know, he would have had I, to have modified yeah. a rifle because otherwise you have to go through so many, so much paperwork for that. I, I seriously doubt it. Yeah. They were just saying on the radio on the way over here that um, his family, like his brother and stuff like that, is just they're they have no idea what the hell is going on or what to say because yeah. he was retired multi-million dollar multi-millionaire wow um real estate person from las vegas or you know in the las vegas area yeah. liked high stakes gambling um but they're like you know because i'm thinking i'm like was he upset that this is the room that he was in and there was a loud concert so he just started unloading on people but this is very much in my opinion right now premeditated because he brought like special equipment yeah. to be able to get out the windows to be able to to break out the windows you needed special oh, equipment so he wasn't oh he okay. didn't just shoot out the window I, well i was thinking it was a excuse me i was thinking it was a balcony no was it was a high it was a high rise wow yeah, yeah on the 32nd floor so it was special high rise yeah, glass or open. whatever and he had to have special equipment to be able to break out the thick glass wow yeah and so he did that and you know these special hammers or whatever and then uh was raining down on people they said that isis has claimed credit for it i of course i wonder if yeah. you know and there's nothing out right now they have no right, motive right. they don't know what's going on but i wonder if there would be anything like they infiltrated or you know they were able to you know or or he's disillusioned and right that's yeah, what i yeah, mean like yeah. they got to him and and brainwashed him you know not yeah. not the movies kind of sense but got right. him to sympathize with them and yeah and well it's like that something like that. that shoe bomber and all them the american guys that mm -hmm. you know american kids that are like and then they're talking about like know. oh you know what are we going to do you know any event like this they're going to have to have sharpshooters up on the rooftops like okay with 9-11 mm -hmm. they locked down the airport they made it how can you you know they said yeah. in down in Tempe, there's apartment complexes that overlook the stadium. There's yeah. business well, heard, buildings that heard, overlook the stadium. You heard about that kid following falling 32 stories. I no. think his was 32 also, just like the other guy. He fell. He was partying out on his balcony of his apartment at ASU. Mm. And when did this happen? fell down to his death, like, I think this weekend. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And he's dead. Mm -hmm. And they said they think alcohol is a contributor. And this kid was a freshman. Like just starting out mm -hmm. and got stupid. Remember, I used to sit up mm -hmm. on the balcony yeah. and you'd be like, "Dude, don't you yeah. just give me a queasy feeling?" I was like, "Okay." Um, Ooh, like this? And yeah, yeah you, exactly. You, I'd lock my feet. You'd be go, like, Whoa. "You'd be like, yeah. oh, okay, I understand, John. <laughs> Let me respect your wishes and get down." Whoa, look <laughs> at me, I'm falling. Exactly. Um, and then uh, instant noodles make babies gay. That was another one. I believe um, that. That was a news story. Joe oh, uh, weird news story. Okay. Um, the rapper or hip-hop artist, B.O.B., that uh -huh. does that song, Airplanes Like Night Stars and Shooting Stars. I think so. Uh, Sounds right familiar. Right now, lit right now, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Uh, has started a GoFundMe. Uh, you could, like, add in the real song so it covers up my horrible singing uh -huh. there so um, and post-editing. Yeah. I did that with yeah. the X-Files. The did you? Remember when uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, he is starting a GoFundMe to pay for satellites to launch satellites to prove that the world is flat. Oh, that's he's the a guy. Flat. He's a flat I, Earth person. I knew that he's. I remember there's a rapper that's a flat Earth person. I yeah. They just I said it was Bob, and I'm that. like, I don't know who that is. And then they said that song, Aeroplanes, and yeah. I was like, Oh my god, I like that song. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there's apparently some NBA star too that very much believes that the world is flat, and they're like. You can see, uh, but apparently, uh, from what I understand, his he has arguments to like if you're up in a plane and you can see the curvature of the Earth and, yeah. and that kind of stuff. He apparently has arguments for that and why people don't fall off um, yeah. the Earth and that kind of stuff. Uh, Neil deGrasse was on um, some talk show or whatever, and he was like, "To Bob, the rap star, uh, see this," and he dropped a ball or something. He's like, "That's gravity." That means the world's not flat, you fucking idiot, or something <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that. And I was just like, oh, okay. I'm like, but if he believes the world is flat, he's well, not going to understand yeah, that he's that's how what creates gravity. part of the conspiracy. Yeah. And, yeah, and what? how does he explain? I wonder, like, Columbus, 
was like, I'm just going to go to the other side of Spain. And then all of a sudden was like, wait, I hit something. You know, he no, he mm -hmm. thought he was going to India. And all of a sudden he hit something else that was in the middle. And that's when he was like, oh, wait, you know, mm -hmm. this is, you know. It's, it's yeah. fine. It's time space continuum he's probably able to you know you flip around to the underside yeah. of the planet yeah, and that's exactly. what gravity is that holds the water in place and you're just you know whatever yeah. but they had on the news also on the radio they were like what are other things that that people believe mm -hmm. um this one guy called it and said that he believes that uh eisenhower made a pact or a deal with aliens mm-hmm for he said this is what he believes himself and it's just on the voicemails that you leave for the radio station mm -hmm. that eisenhower made a pact with aliens that aliens would be able to abduct people from the united states in in um in exchange for technology and that's <laughs> where we've gotten cell phones internet all the the technology we've been able to backwards compatible that yeah. technology into into everything we have today but for that he allows uh, the aliens to to well, take us that makes sense i uh i totally believe it and uh i could do a whole show on that one mm -hmm. but uh no that sounds very interesting um the other one was what to bring with you to a murder like i told now uh, apparently a hammer to get out a uh, high, 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 high rise, high -rise yeah. glass i told tracy i'd wear clown shoes so then they're gonna be like this guy's like got these big feet and that's who we're looking for and I'd just be me with, you know, clown shoes on. You know. Danielle said she would inject me with a poison in my sphincter, like around and then nobody would check around the sphincter for any kind of uh needles, you know, needle holes. What, that's you how know. she'd kill you? That's how she'd kill me, yeah. Like they I'm check, pretty sh I'm they pretty check sure your arms and they check your neck. You know, they check stuff like yeah, that. I'm pretty sure they check everywhere though, especially yeah, like if they would be able to determine that you died that from poison. poison yeah, they would start looking everywhere. And I think no matter what, mm -hmm. um, anytime there's an injection, there's going to be damage to the tissue, so it yeah. becomes apparent. True, true. Okay, so. now. It was just a little yeah, funny no, story, Sean. Sure I'm sorry. That, uh, I just want to make sure that she doesn't get caught. <laughs> no, so right? If she needs yeah, to yeah, consult with yeah, me. You're all she for listens me to dying. A lot, she yeah. listens to a lot of true crime uh, uh, yeah. podcasts and stuff, though, so she probably know better than me. Yeah. Um, I suppose, you know, if she, if she did that, and then when you died, you know, as long as you had a full bowel and then everything releases and you just shit yourself, then yeah. they're going to be like, whatever. He's yeah. Plus, for one, they're they're really not going to investigate you because well, yeah, they really don't care. yeah, they're just going to be like, yeah, he died of something, yeah, um, exactly. How much is she getting? Um, two hundred thousand, a whole fifty thousand, yeah, fifty three thousand, like, something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's not worth investigating. <laughs> exactly. And uh, if she had to to sleep with that for this long, yeah, she deserves <laughs> more than that. Exactly. Ah ha ha. Uh, masturbating, masturbating karaoke singers. That was she, an odd one. You and I, that was mm -hmm. a, a game show in Japan. Uh, how to have sex with a midget. That was where Joe, I asked if it would be offensive to the midget if you pick them up and put them like over the counter, but their feet are dangling and you had <laughs> sex with them that way. Or do you go down to their level, like put them, you know, like they're so small, like you know, mm -hmm. you're on your knees and you're instead of having sex standing up, like, <laughs> do you go down to their level and do it on your knees and hold them up, you know, hmm. or do you, you know. Should write into one of those little those. people shows where, yeah. like, the little person is dating a regular sized person yeah. or something like that yeah. and be like, what's the, uh, how do you, what's, what's the technically protocol? the, what's yeah. protocol for this? <laughs> um, and then, uh, da, 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 hearing voices, Sergio talked about. He was hearing voices. Oh, when I was on, when I was all fucking hooked up on on coke, especially. Yeah. Um, I would hear and see shit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Sergio was, uh, uh, that was the last show Sergio was on. He was just like, he said he was talking to his. He said he used to hear voices before, like faint, like sound like they were talking to him. And he said, and then one day he comes to his wife and he goes, "Honey, I'm hearing voices, and they're, t you know, I can barely hear them. They're kind of mumbling." And she's like, uh, you need to seek some help. And he's like, you think so? And she's like, uh, yeah. So he went and they put him on medicine. And he said, now he doesn't hear the voices anymore. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And um, then he stopped doing the show. That's right. 
Um, and then uh, Doggy AA, you and I had talked yeah, about I remember it, the dogs. That. I think being addicted to food or oh, they okay, need like gotcha. A, now it like yeah, something really, like yeah. that. Like, because uh, I was saying about how the dogs, like, how they're so one-track minded. Like, yeah, they're just yeah. so focused on, you know, all they want to do is, is this. Yeah, and they're like, not going to give up until the food yeah. is either gone yeah. or you either give them the treat yeah, or not. Yeah, Midori will drag all the bowls around, flip mm-hmm. them over. <clears throat> and she can't lift the water bowl because it's, like, ceramic, like, mm-hmm. heavy. So she'll drag all the other ones in there, flip them over to let me know, hey, I'm out of water. Mm-hmm. We're out of water. So uh, pube lube was one that Tracy invented. Tracy said, don't you think there should be pube lube so it softens your pubes? Mm, that's funny. And, or uh, just shave it. And yeah. Uh, and then that's when we got into that discussion where, and I had had that discussion before with Joe because I like having inappropriate, mm-hmm. making Joe uncomfortable. And I was like, Joe, you know, if you shave, it's a lot cleaner and you don't smell. And I was like, do you shave? And Joe's like, uh, come on. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> A camera in your dick. Joe uh, Joe went to have some uh, something looked at because mm-hmm. he was peeing, peeing too much, and it felt like he still had to pee. Like after mm. he peed, and it wasn't prostate; it was something. So they had to take his dick and put a camera down the hole. Mm. And I was like, "Oh God, did that hurt?" And he's like, "No, you would think it would, but it was just a little uncomfortable." But and I was like, "I just just watching, like you're watching it, and they're doing yeah, it." Wow. You know? Well, I know, so. like when I went into get tested for stds and stuff like that one of them is they fucking do a swap down your fucking oh, dick hole. and it's like it's like oh. one of those long fucking q-tips oh it comes out your butthole and they just <laughs> thread you <laughs> thread you just run it right out the end and i was just like that was that wasn't comfortable it felt weird it didn't hurt but it wasn't yeah, it yeah, was uncomfortable it was, uh, sure. yeah i think that was joe's thing like it was just you know too weird um cutting your face off with a chainsaw that was a new there's story a new, that i read uh, there's a new uh uh, Leatherface movie coming out like the origins story of Leatherface uh, movie. Give those shows up. him uh, shows him looks like I believe he's as a child at his birthday and they give him like a chainsaw for his birthday or something goofy. So yeah, uh, we'll be able to have that answer in a few short months. Interesting, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a news story. Some guy was had fell and the chainsaw cut his face off, and he was still okay. He drove himself to the hospital. Mm. And they reattached, but it was uh, it was gruesome looking. Um, hmm. bu- bu- oh god, that was. Uh. And then this one I read about. I did a solo show, Twenty One Severed Vaginas. It was called Pokemon Go Fuck Yourself and Twenty One Severed Vaginas. And I was wondering now, were they scooped out like, like an ice cream scoop, like just the labia part, or? Was it the is whole that in one of those, thing? Is that in one of those villages where they where they maim the women? Or, no, this was, um, where was it? It was some, like, foreign country, or it was, like, Sweden or something like that. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't, like, it wasn't Africa. But I was just wondering how much of the vagina. Like, was mm. it 21 severed lips? Was it 21, like, canals? Like, you right, know, right. Yeah, the whole thing. And um, it was just some guy that, you know, it was a weird story. The pussy snorkel which was a thing that you get so you can breathe while you're going down on somebody, something, and then you have that. It's weird. They sell it on Amazon. Okay. Uh, eating a guy's face, that was like the bath salts type mm, thing. Okay. And somebody was, some guy found somebody eating the guy's face, and that was another one. The guy was a college student. Mm-hmm. Everything was fine. All of a sudden, this guy walks out to go, what's going on? The guy jumps on him, starts eating his face. The wife comes out and go, or the neighbor comes out and goes, "What are you doing?" And just sees a guy over top of another guy, like eating his face. <laughs> it's like holy shit. Um, pissing the bed in boot camp. That was Joe. I was like, "How did you? How do you pee the bed in boot camp, but then hide that? Because you have to do your laundry, mm-hmm. and I don't know how that works for when you're there for thirty days. You know, when do you do the laundry? Mm-hmm. When do you do your bedding? So." Joe was just like, I, I just hit it, and I just kind of went, and and I'm like, nobody was like, oh my god, that guy peed the bed. I said, I never knew this story. That's yeah, wow. so amazing. That's crazy. Um, and then sushi pizza and tuna tacos. Uh-huh. You and I talked about that. Yeah. And what's interesting, yesterday, we were talking food with one of my workers, and then one of the client guests. You know, there was a mm-hmm. big meeting at the ballroom, and um, we were talking food, and she said, uh, 
And one of my workers, she goes, have you had the breakfast tacos at QT? And I said, no, my friend Sean told me about them. And she goes, oh, my God. I mean, breakfast pizzas. Mm, yeah. She goes, oh, my God, they're so good. She goes, they're made with like gravy. And I go, I go, I still need to try those. I go, because that just blows my mind. Like, yeah. I just think gross. And she's like, no, they are so delicious. It's it's almost like it, it, um, biscuits and gravy. Almost with like eggs. A, like a southern slam. Like they used yeah, to do that yeah. with the, but and then put the egg on top, scrambled yeah, eggs yeah. on top. Or but it's, it's pizza crust. Yeah. 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 So. That's weird. Um, but interesting. And, uh, no, it's funny because Sandy's car, uh, the low tire light was on today. Mm-hmm. So I went down to QT because it's one of the only places with, <laughs> sorry, uh, with free air. Yeah. Still. And so I was airing up the tires and I went in to get a soda and they had the breakfast pizza there because it was early in the morning. <laughs> and I was like, ooh. <laughs> I, you I didn't, didn't get it. No, no, I didn't get it. Uh, no. Boom deal. Um, but, uh, uh, semen smoothies. Joe read another story. Semen smoothies are good for your skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, chicken with teeth. Mm-hmm. Sergio and I, the funniest show that I had where I just couldn't breathe because I was just imagining a ch- chicken with teeth and turkeys with nipples. And Sergio and I did a whole show on these these chicken were born with teeth. And I said, I want to see a picture because all I see is a big duck or something like, you know, or a chicken with, with you know, all these uh, full you're, th- you're thinking like full like teeth. cartoon, like human teeth, like yeah, squared yeah, off exactly. teeth. And yeah. I'm thinking like pointy fucking, you know. Yeah. Evil teeth. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, so that was hilarious. Uh, and then you told me like a banana and mayonnaise sandwich. Yeah, that was that video on YouTube. And I looked YouTube. up that video. And yeah, that guy used too much bananas or too much mayonnaise. The guy that you showed yeah, me on YouTube. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, uh, I'm ma- thinking. Mayonnaise is disgusting. and. Uh, but I'm thinking if he had it leveled out more, maybe. Okay. But, you know. Um, but yeah, I hear you. Yeah, well, it's totally gross. Banana and mayonnaise. Uh, fuck dolls was uh, either you and me or me and Joe like just regular fuck dolls. Um, edible shit burgers. I was watching a thing once on how those fuck dolls were made, like mm-hmm. a documentary thing on on them being made, which was odd. Yeah. So. The uh, no, that's uh, always like here. Try that out. Let me know if that's good, and then give me your feedback. Um, edible shit burgers was in Japan. Mm-hmm. They were going to take they're going to recycle the waste all the, and yeah. make it, and I was like, that's just gross. Um, but it would take care of the trash problem or the sewage, whatever. That's what the ocean's for. Um, the donkey girlfriend. That was, oh, that, I, there that was, was one that was going to remind me of. Um, there was something. Uh, it was either a video or something on the radio where they were talking about love and, and that feeling of love or whatever. They were talking to this guy, and he was like, he goes, yeah, he's like, for the first time, you know, when she told me she loved me and just that feeling that I got of like, oh, my God. You know, and I was just like, oh, wow. I'm like, that's cool. You know, this this person is, you know, and it, it, I didn't see what the person looked like. So it had to be, I think it was a YouTube video, but they were like interviewing the person. So it wasn't showing them. It was like a clip of it, something like that. Mm-hmm. But they, it turned out and they were like, well, okay. You know, for most of us, you know, you'd think that that's, you know, a special time in your life when you have that connection with your boyfriend or girlfriend, but yeah. his girlfriend is an ai or is a, oh, wow. a machine or a game yeah, almost like yeah and she told him and and i think i think he's married to it now or something wow and that's like know. that movie her yeah that was like the the operating system but it was like the first yeah. time she tells me she loves me and i'm just like what and, you know yeah. more power to him great but, yeah you know yeah if that keeps him off of a thing in vegas yeah, and yeah. you know shooting people yeah. then that's great um but yeah, that's uh, it's just so messed up. Um, the human fuck calendar, which uh, um, Paul Walker, that was that girl that he was having sex with at work, and he he said, well, for the hundredth episode, you could catch everybody up on what happened to her. Oh and yeah, me and all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So Please, let's let's do that. So then she moved to she was living in an apartment. Mm-hmm. You know, she had moved out of her abusive relationship with the guy that kept sending him videos. And and then she would invite Paul Walker over to have sex with her at her apartment and all this stuff and would write him every once in a while. And, you know, and then she was drunk at a at a function. Right. And uh, saying how and she was like, Paul I want to fuck you. And yeah. And um, and then so there's that new guy that showed up. At right. Then the the she was kind of talking to the new the new sergeant that took over for me. And then um, 
and then just kind of he didn't know if they were ever together but she kept kind of talking to him but they kind of stopped sleeping together and uh and then all of a sudden she was like she like didn't show up at work and then ended up like well i'm leaving and she told him like she moved somewhere totally you know like away from her abusive relationship like moved to another state and so it's like okay well hopefully she'll be all better but you know and he followed uh, she's and, and... yeah exactly well the whole thing was she kept telling him like i'm in this relationship like he abused me all the time and it's like and she didn't realize that that boyfriend sent him pictures of them having sex mm -hmm. her not trying to fight it like it wasn't a force thing it mm -hmm. wasn't you kept going over there so it's your right. fault you know and so it could be a psychological thing or right, he was, right yeah you know psychologically abusing her and so she felt whatever but still yeah yeah but it was just uh, and who knows she may have been saying the same story about paul walker yeah 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 and that's the story she's given to people that you know and not making light of it if she's in an abusive relationship i'm glad she's out of it and she's away from him yeah but you know, but yeah that was the other thing that we were always saying was she would tell everybody the drama at work remember i was saying mm -hmm. and it was just like really like you're causing this yourself like you right. want the pity so you're doing that it's like a guy at work that says that he has skin cancer mm -hmm. but usually with skin cancer you don't get chemo right away but mm -hmm. all of a sudden he's like oh i gotta go in for chemo but you don't have a tumor you have skin cancer mm -hmm. like they give you treatment for that but not chemo treatment you mm -hmm. know and uh so that and i Maybe we're they thinking do, depending on right but we're just thinking like that just sounds odd but the whore drama on here, that was her also. Uh, saving your daughter from drowning in Bukaki. That was, I was yeah. laughing at that, telling Joe if he would save his daughter if she had just drowned right when he walked in. Like, he's got his right. shovel out to come. And and he was like, she's four. And I'm like, no, this is 18 years from now. Um, uh, licking Zartan. You talked about mm -hmm. putting Zartan in your mouth and you probably have cancer. Yeah. And uh, alien abductions. Uh, which is what you and I talked about last yep. uh, time. The so alien abductions. I looked that up. Oh, you did. Okay, because uh -huh. I got. I didn't get a whole lot on I it. I got a shitload of stuff. Did you? Not okay. Shitload. Um, but all you know. I got was that the first one was the Joe and Bobby here in yeah, Columbus, Iowa, or wherever. Betty and Billy, whatever. Or Betty yeah, and they Barney. were the first ones, and then there's because there's no physical evidence right. ever that it's all. What I can tell is it's all uns unsubstantiated, stuff right. like that. But there, there are in China, mainly just in China is all I really yeah. That was of. and that was the that was this other one. So the two main ones are, well, there's another one too. But anyway, so you said sepsi, sexy abductions. Mm -hmm. That's um, with the the Nordics, right? But I didn't get Nordic stories, but I got this one. I got a couple. Uh, one of the most famous and outrageous alien abduction cases known in China today involves a strange story of Meng Zagua, a farmer. That's a guy. A farmer from Heilongjiang. Sorry to anybody from that, that area or region right. of China. We don't mean to be racist and he, dicks. He claims that in 1994, after a frightening UFO encounter that left him with an irrational fear of iron objects. He just didn't want to yeah. cook anymore out of his walk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, sorry for anybody in China. An alien, an alien seductress paid him a visit the following evening. The extraterrestrial was said to be close to 10 feet tall with six-fingered hands and the rather peculiar feature of leg hair she wore braided. In spite of her intimidating appearance, Zong Tang Ting Chong said his visitor then proceeded to make love to him for 40 minutes with the two levitating in midair as they embraced. Arguably the most famous case, so there's a sexy case, the most famous case of alien sex ever reported deals with a 1957 encounter described by Antonio Villa Bos, a Brazilian farmer who had been plowing his fields late one <laughs> evening. Plowing, right. Yeah. The appearance of a bright light hovering near nearby captured Bo's attention. And as it drew nearer to the ground, he was vis he was able to tell it was some sort of strange craft. Bose was taken aboard the craft by its occupants, described as humanoids in spacesuits, where he was disrobed, submitted to medical examinations, and covered in a strange liquid before being exposed to gases which caused him to feel nauseated. He was left in a room by himself for quite some time, 
before a nude female extraterrestrial eventually appeared, to whom Bose felt strongly attracted. The two began making love, during which Bo's strange partner was said to growl like a dog. Then, as the encounter ended, the female was taken out of the room by other extraterrestrials. So what, 30 seconds later? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Especially, he was like, oh, you saw it? Eh. And then she was covered in strange goo. He was um, not from China. I don't know that he'd have a Chinese accent when he was coming. Uh, is that what I said? It's oh, I like, d- yeah. No, that was just being excited. Oh, okay. Like, oh, he's Brazilian. Yeah. Hey, S.A., I'm going to come on your face. S.A.? Um, yeah. Yeah. Brazilian, uh, like Mexican, Mexican okay. Brazilian, it's uh, you know, it's all the same. <laughs> ching, ching, um, tong, tong, ching. South American. Oi. Yeah. Um, Bose said she pointed at her stomach and then up toward the sky as she walked away. Um, Bose would later be examined by a doctor who determined he had shown signs of radiation sickness. He remained healthy for decades afterwards, pursuing a career in law and always maintaining that his encounter with an alien female in 1957 had been true and accurate. Then later in life, Bose was said to have fallen ill due to a peculiar disease for which he was even brought to the U.S. for treatment. Eventually, his condition worsened, and Bose died from the ensuing complications. And then she pointed at her stomach because she was like, hey, baby, up in the sky. That's right. So his, so his seed will carry on. Yeah, good for him. Um, but here's what's funny. So Antonio Villobos hadn't seen to indicate any particular enjoyment he received from his sexual liaison with an alien suitor since he was already a devoted husband. His wife, on the other hand, was said to have held a degree of pride in the assumption that her husband had been chosen to represent Earth's genes in an intergalactic breeding program. So she fell for, you know, he probably went out and had sex with, like you said, maybe he was... He was uh, didn't like the iron because maybe he was attracted to the iron, and then he Just had a different stories. No, no, that's the Chinese a, guy. No, was that's the same guy. No, it was both. Oh wait, no, yeah. you're right. Chinese you're guy right. was scared the of iron. You're right. The you're Brazilian right. guy, his wife would go around and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah. my husband, he a fucking yeah. alien." <laughs> that's right. They the shot us, huh? And <laughs> that Chinese. <laughs> that's right. Um, okay, and then the first alien abduction and the first alien encounter. So, like you said, the most documented is the Bose guy and the uh, Hills. Mm-hmm. Those two people. What year are were the, the most, Hills? Uh, Sixty-one. And Bose was fifty. Fifty-seven. Yeah. Okay. And so, but the first, you know, you and I were like, how? When did the first one happen? Fourteen forty B.C.E. Oh, is that the Egyptian? Um, with the hieroglyphs and, and yeah, ancient Egypt? ancient Egypt, yeah. uh, it was reported by the scribes of the pharaohs uh, that fiery discs were encountered floating over the skies. It was later recorded on the Tol Tully papyrus. And then 1940, I put this down just because people go, "Why are you called Foo Fighters?" Um, in 1940s, and it says Foo Fighters, small metallic spheres and colorful balls of light repeatedly spotted and occasionally photographed worldwide by bomber crews during World War II. So that's where Foo yeah, Fighters came probably from. probably fucking uh, Nazi stuff. They, uh, what was that uh, the thing on, on last podcast on the left? They're like, all this stuff, like us sending a rocket to the moon and stuff yeah. like that, they're like, that should have had a swastika on it. That was all stolen yeah, tech yeah, yeah. from the Nazis. Yeah. Like, we, we pardoned that fucking scientist that pretty much, you know, yeah. gave us everything we needed yeah, to get all to the moon. Yeah, we took all them and yeah. used and that. And now yeah. apparently, was it you telling me that or, or somebody that I was listening to and they're saying that they're talking now that that technology, like, we probably couldn't do it again. That for some reason that they lost all of that information oh, really? about being able to land on the moon and they're like we probably would not be able to do it again wow because that technology what was going on at the time somehow it was all lost or huh. something like that and yeah we wouldn't be i was just like really yeah <laughs> well especially like you know spacex is doing where they're landing their rockets back mm-hmm. like straight up here and that's how we did it over there but there's no gravity over there so mm-hmm. you can kind of you know but yeah that's that's strange um and then uh, so those were two of the questions that we had from the last show the other one was project blue book yeah so project blue book was one of, of a series of systematic studies of unidentified flying objects conducted by the united states air force it started in 1952 
and it was the third study of its kind. The first two were Project Sign and Project Grudge. So Sign was 47 and Grudge was 49. A termination order was given for the study in December 1969 and all activity under its auspices seized in January 1970. Project Blue or Book... did they? I know. Project Blue Book had two goals. To determine if UFOs were a threat to national security and to scientifically analyze UFO-related data. Thousands of UFO reports were collected, analyzed, and filed as a result of the Condon Report from 1968, which concluded there was nothing an anomalous about UFOs. Project Blue Book was ordered shut down in December 1969, and the Air Force continues to provide the following summary of its investigations. Number one. No UFO reported, investigated, and evaluated by the Air Force was ever an indication of a threat to our national security. Number two, there was no evidence submitted to or discovered by the Air Force that sightings categorized by unidentified represented technological developments or principles beyond the range of modern scientific knowledge. And three, there was no evidence indicating that sightings categorized as unidentified were extraterrestrial vehicles. And then uh, by the time Project Blue Book ended, it had collected 12,618 UFO reports and concluded that most of them were misidentifications of natural phenomenon, clouds, stars, etc., or conventional aircraft. According to the National Reconnaissance Office, a number of the reports could be explained by the flights of the formerly secret reconnaissance planes U-2 and A-12. A small percentage of UFO reports were classified as unexplained, even after stringent analysis. The UFO reports were archived and are available under the F Freedom of Information Act, but names and other personal information of all witnesses have been redacted. I think redacted is coming out to be, um, at least for American Express, mm -hmm. algorithm was the big uh, go-to word yeah uh last year and i think redacted is is definitely making its way way back or, it's or, like or it's out. like the word of the year yeah, yeah you know yeah. redacted it, it could have been from last year too redacted i can right. see for more general public redacted would be yeah. that but I'm, i've been hearing it a lot more lately i'm gonna have to start using it a lot more uh in my day-to-day -day. maybe it's because you're more into last podcast on the maybe left yeah and i was just gonna say like yeah. we need to do a podcast on like I brought up at work that about you know I'm like oh yeah you'll probably you know think that 9/11 was a conspiracy and like everybody around me was like uh yeah have you watched this it was <laughs> it is blah yeah. blah like they were saying on last on last podcast they were saying you know about like how there's a a something behind the government that's that's making everything happen mm -hmm. uh, and that's like the more and more stuff I hear. Like it, there's more and more going on, and and yeah. it's not just the United States. I think it's more of a global yeah kind of thing. Yeah, where like they're saying like what the one guy on the radio is saying is like, uh, you'll see what's going to happen with North Korea. We won't go to war with North Korea. Every time that something goes on between the United States and China, then you know North Korea, you know spouts up, and they're like yeah. China uses North Korea to. To as buffer, a as a yeah. bargaining chip yeah. with American Express or with American Express <laughs> with the United States because yeah. they're like you know Trump is going in wanting to to do trade agreements and stuff like that with China. Yeah. Well, China doesn't like that and doesn't want that to happen. Doesn't want the tariffs to go up on Chinese products or you know because yeah. their economy is so dependent on the United States. So then they start you know being like okay North Korea start here here's some here's some new technology start going out and playing with it and they're using them as a puppet. Yeah, and then North Korea starts acting up, and then we have to reach out to China and say, "China, okay, hey, get a get yeah, a hold get a of hold these of fuckers, your brother, yeah, you know, and and do this." And, okay, well, I will, but you got to lessen up on the stuff. And just the way he was saying, it's like, okay, because um, just like that, um, uh, that one guy I was telling you about, I forgot what his name was. That uh, um, who was. Uh, the, not the theology guy, um, the Neil philosophy DeGrasse. guy, not oh, Degrassi, oh, but right. um, 
he talks about the political stuff. Uh, I forget what his name is. Oh, I've got the it Alex there. Jones? No, no. no that's it's, the conspiracy. This is the, yeah, this is the, the one where he, he did like talks at colleges and stuff like that. I'd have to remember uh, who it was, but... He was like, anytime but not you young, want not young or any of those. No, no, this recent. was this is a more recent one. And I, we had talked about it on the podcast before I right. brought him up. Um, he was saying, yeah, I was listening to one of his things. He's like, if you want to know what's going on, follow the money. Yeah, yeah, you know. And he's like, follow the money. You'll yeah. you'll see that. Okay, here in the United States, tobacco is a very bad thing, and and you can't advertise it and that kind of stuff. But yet. Philip Morris is billions yeah. and trillions of dollars. Yeah. Where are they getting all this from if there's less and less people smoking? Yeah. Well, because in other countries where they export their tobacco to, yeah. they advertise smoking. Yeah. And, you know, America gives them money but says, hey, you know, because we're doing this, you do this. You let us do this. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And so you see that there's all this other stuff going on in other places. It's, it's beyond our field of view. So we don't, we don't pitch a bitch about it because we're like, Oh, it's not in our backyard. Yeah, we don't us. care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're still making, or their controlled companies are making billions upon billions of dollars in China by selling them tobacco and by controlling tobacco and all that kind of stuff. And, and it's encouraged for yeah. people to smoke there. They don't have the same, you know, uh, resources that, that we have to be able to know that that stuff is bad for you or, you know, they tell them a different story. Yeah. They're all the gun stuff, all the, you know, like with that, uh, that Nicolas Cage movie, you mm -hmm. know, after, after this, after a war happens someplace, we don't take those guns out of yeah, there. We yeah. don't, you know, and geez, they just leave them. So they turn around and sell them to those people there. And yeah. You know, uh, these American companies that are selling guns are making tremendous amount of money by supplying guns to yeah. places that are fighting so he's yeah. like anytime you really want to see just like in any of the true crime stuff you follow the money yeah you know yeah. there's where there's motive and for 99 percent of things motive is is the dollar bill yeah it, you know so it, was there money to be made? Was there something to be changed or whatever with nine eleven? I'm s I am have not given enough research to yeah. know, but most likely yeah. And it's you know, it like I said, it's it's not the United States running everything, but yeah. I believe that there's probably there's some sort yeah, of collusion some of, sort of, yeah. of behind the scenes government, you know, thing going on being like, Okay, hey, now we gotta get this going here so we've got to make this happen so do this and you know, whatever it is and for the most part people like you and i are never going to know the true answer and yeah. that's like one of the things that i was telling people there and that they're like don't you want to know don't you want i'm like no i'm like yeah. i don't yeah. care yeah. because you will never yeah. ever know the truth there yeah. is yeah. no way that you will ever well, get high enough yeah to know the real to to goodness honest truth yeah. and even if you think that that's the truth how do you know that that's not a lie yeah there's no way to know so why why get so worked up about it yeah well and that's where it's just like with this like just like you and i said if you want to believe you believe mm -hmm. like loch ness monster like ghosts like whatever we've talked about so this was you could read this as total like i just read all that to you mm -hmm. but now you read it as the government now writing something mm -hmm. that's you know, like their statement to cover up shit. So no UFO reported, investigated, and evaluated by the Air Force was never an indication of a threat to our national security. Because it was go, us. And you could go, bullshit, bullshit. There was no evidence submitted to or discovered by the Air Force that sightings categorized as unidentified represented technological developments or principles beyond the range of modern scientific knowledge. And you can just shoot that down, too. It's like, no, they just... That's just what they wrote. Like, they're just right. telling us that. Right. And they want the sheep to believe it. But the right, sheep yeah. are believing it, and we won't. And we're, you know, I know that this is true, you know. But how are you going to prove it? And, and that's the thing. That's, to me, it's it, like, you can, you can believe this stuff, but yeah, it doesn't, you know, well, that's in your, own, in your own head. And then here at the end, it says, uh, regarding the, the Barney and Betty Hill alien abductions, we were wondering why did one person ask them, if they were carrying, oh yeah, this is for you and I. I thought this was a continuation because the font was the same. This is our question. You and I, another question that we had. 
Regarding the Barney and Betty Hill alien abduction, we were wondering why did one person ask them if they were carrying nitrates in the car and why the aliens would care about nitrates. So I looked up, I typed in that, but all then it ended up me just writing what are nitrates and, mm-hmm. you know. So it's just that they were explosives, mm-hmm. that they can make explosives. And my thing is, so this aliens who have technology to travel across the universe are going to come here and go, we don't have anything to blow stuff up. you have any bang-bang? Oh, you have nitrates. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, cool. Give us some of that manure, and we'll make some bombs. We'll hump you. You know, we'll pull a fight club. So, alien fight club. Um. That's one thing that they were saying about, like, uh, was it just some kids that took their parents' UFO out for uh, a joy yeah, ride? Yeah, you and I were saying, yeah. They are just like, oh, shit, we're in trouble. We fucking knocked that guy down. Let's get him up here. Make sure he's okay. Um, but anyway, um, so we had the Charles Manson stuff, but we won't go into that because we've already been an hour. I yeah, no, that's that good because I, I do want to, I want to go and re-listen to the Charles Manson well, ones again. And I want to, yeah, I want to get more in depth, like, like, so like Shauna and I said, the last podcast on the left is a good podcast. Um, so we're at 55 minutes just to let you know. Um. So it's a good podcast, and so before I listened to that, I watched a thing on uh, on Dateline. Mm-hmm. It was a thing the summer of whatever, and it was about Charles Manson. And what was interesting on that was that they said that he grew up in, like, like he says he grew up in a fucked up family, but it said, no, he grew up in this neighborhood, nice neighbor, you know. Mm-hmm. And then when I listened to last podcast on Left, which they do good research, and they were like, no, he was sold or whatever as mm-hmm. a child. So it was like, so it was just like, oh, wow. So there were the different, mm-hmm. you know, things. Conflicting stories. And but that's the thing, too. You have to go back and be like, okay, yeah. what was it? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it was very, it's very interesting. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, that's yeah. That's groovy. And that, <laughs> I love that, his voice for that, Chuck. That, that's what I was going to um, check with you also um, was, so Chip. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. It, to it me, was, it seemed, did he. Did he change his Patreon? Um, he might have. I don't know. I haven't looked. Why? Because what? I, I was going through uh, Twitter things, and you had a, the link on there to his, oh, his yeah. thing, and I went to his Patreon page, and it was – I didn't understand what they even were. Like, uh-huh. you'd almost have to be an artistic person to understand, like, what programs he's talking about, which to me makes no oh, sense. Oh, yeah, because the J- it's like, JPEGs. Yeah, the JPEGs like, you understand, but the other ones – Right, like but the, the JPEG yeah. blue line, you get yeah. access to the blue line – Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. what is this? Yeah. I'm like, I don't even know. Yeah, you know do I have line. to sign up for something? Do I have to sign up for something else? Right. To, yeah. You know, and then right, later right, on, yeah. down, down, I saw that the blue the blue line sketch. This is the first. Yeah, right. He draws that and then and inks it. Yeah. yeah and, but still, it, it was one of those things where it's like it's not very well explained. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I don't even know what I get. You know, yeah. it's like $1, you get this. And what? What yeah. you know? It just yeah. You get like yeah. But I, it, his art is the exact same. Yeah, it hasn't changed. The the yeah. picture you have back there yeah is some of the same exact stuff that he's done. Yeah, he's uh, been doing that for that every since character. Teenager. Yeah. Every character looks the same. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and, told. and the young the young face yeah is the same face that he always draws, but smaller. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and that's fine if that's his art style. That's yeah. fine, but there's there's not any you know that it, I don't see right. any difference in it. Well, and that's what I told Danielle. I said, you know, he's like his wife will go, "You're a really good artist," and I he go, is. "Yeah, he's, he's a he good is. artist." But I said, I said it seems like his style hasn't changed. Like you said, it if that's your style. It's fine, and that's but fine it if hasn't. That's your style, but there's been no progression. Yeah, yeah, and so, so four days before the end of September, I said, "Hey, man." You need to like, you got four days. You got to draw four pictures. If anybody signs up for September, you have, you know, August lockdown with all the pictures are there. If anybody orders them, they can get them. But I said, September, you haven't done any pictures. You have four days to draw four pictures. And, you know, and he's like, yeah, I don't know, though, because he was looking at Mixer as a Microsoft thing. That's like Twitch. Have you heard of Mixer? So, uh, yeah, I get into it. Whatever. Right. So he goes, thinking of doing Mixer and doing the artwork and promoting the artwork on mixer mm. and he goes uh and then he while we're talking then he starts looking up the 
the rules of how to make money from Mixer, which that'd be like you and I going, we're going to make it on YouTube and then looking at YouTube and going, oh, we have to have this many followers right. and you get this much money for every thousand followers, whatever. And so then he's like, oh, I need 50 people to watch me do the whole stream to, you know. Yeah, just like Twitch just to, to get yeah. partnered. Like you yeah. have to develop, you have to develop an audience yeah. and you have to hold that audience. And even to get, like I think Twitch has like started now to where they will partner people with less than that, yeah. hoping that they would get up to a higher thing. But that's because Twitch is making money. Yeah. You know, and every he, time you subscribe yeah. and to it, whatever, but it's like you have to have a consecutive and it's not just one. Yeah. And maybe Mixer is different, but you have to have like consecutive, you know, a certain amount of people watching you stream over stream over stream. Yeah. And so. he uh, so I said, well, why don't you uh I said, but are you going to do the Patreon thing? And he's like, well, I don't know. He goes, he said his wife told him the same thing. Like, you have so many days to do all those pictures. And he said, I didn't go into it because she was getting ready to go to bed. But he said, like, nobody signed up yet. And I go, that's what I was telling you. Not that I was defeated by it, but I knew that me and Sean just chit-chatting. Nobody gives a shit about the podcast. And if I'm somebody else, I'm not going to want to give me money. And the thing is, it's to, like, you know, if you and I enjoy it, great. And yeah. there, it may take off down the road. We, right. you know, we yeah. could get into a, a rhythm of doing whatever. Cause it's like these people, you know, they yeah. start off. Joe Rogan starts off. Kevin Smith was one of the very first ones. He yeah. just started doing a podcast with him and his friend yeah. to talk about it. Yeah. He already had fans. Yeah. You yeah. and I don't yeah. have fans. Yeah. Exactly. And we don't have a topic that yeah. we're talking about that yeah. we already know has a fan base yeah 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 you it's know not, we're yeah, talking about we're talking about bullshit fucking cum guzzling stories yeah, yeah you know and that's where so i told him i said that's why i dropped my patreon and just became a patron instead of patreon instead of a creator i just became whatever and he's like yeah he goes well i'm gonna he goes i don't know if i should change it or what and he goes he goes, but I'm really into the mixer thing now. And, and God so, knows I already have the equipment. So, yeah, well, so he goes, so he had to go, though, and rebuy. He bought a green screen to You're put up behind me. him. So He's buying more stuff? Cause, well, because he had, uh, they bought a board last time and put green felt over it. And it would either fall down. It wasn't an official thing. So mm -hmm. one, of it, one time it was funny, he fell down on top of him. Um, the but, one time he but, was streaming, yeah, one of the one of the four, and um, so then this time now he bought one that you know is almost like a screen, like you know you pop it mm -hmm. up and everything. So he's got that, and then the other thing which I had told him before, I said you need to have your own area, like I have this area, mm -hmm. and I said and Danielle, so he's care renting about a separate here. apartment. So, yeah, <laughs> now. yeah, he's like I've got a whole just other. for the one yeah. room. I bought me a storage unit. God, it's hot in here. Um, so no, so he. So his wife goes, what about using our office? I can move my stuff out. Because she actually has a business. <laughs> she sells LuLaRoe stuff. Mm -hmm. And she makes money from it. So she's like, I just do, like, I just have to make up slips to send the clothes or whatever. So she goes, I can do that on my laptop. And I can just do that downstairs. So why don't you take my desk and I'll go down there and I'll do this. And so he's like, all right. So he set everything up. And then I was like, hey, did you Twitch it? You know, did you Mixer or Twitch? And he's like, no, not yet. And so then last night he's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going on Twitch now. And I was like, okay. I said, I'll check it out. So I was at work. I popped it up a little bit. I'm like, okay. And he's playing Destiny 2 and flying around in a purple uh, spaceship. And uh, not talking. So I'm like, no, he, at this time he talked. He said when he started out last night, he talked like a lot, like was into it. And he goes, but then toward the end of the, stream he was just like wasn't saying much was just playing and he was like did the sound sound good and everything and i said yeah but you know and i go well i saw you had 100 views i go that was pretty good and i said i followed you and uh he's like and then when he's talking to me on the phone later he goes that 100 that you saw he goes that was from this plus three years ago mm. like that was from last time he was on twitch right. from that's all his through. total yeah. views on he twitch. goes he goes you look at tiger rider who he likes on Twitch. He said, who, and again, a guy who kind of came up in YouTube, 
went to Twitch and yeah. makes money doing it. Yeah. And so. that's fine. And you can you can yeah. do that. You yeah. can get in. You just have to have that. You have to have that connection with yeah. people. And, and well, if it's a new game coming out, like I said, when fucking when that new uh, the Wolfenstein. No, when oh. uh, when Anthem comes out, that's yeah. when I'm going to start doing yeah. Twitch stuff. I'm just yeah. like, hey, here's a brand new game. Here's the the beta of it, and here's you know, because yeah. like the the people that are real popular in Destiny. Yeah. And Grant. And I don't, I don't have any expectations to do anything. I'm going to do right. it on the fucking camera. Yeah. You know, I bought one of those PS cameras, and I'm going to fucking stream directly from the PlayStation. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not going to buy extra special shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you that's know. where, you know, so so part of it, like, I keep telling him, I said, well, you need to just, you know, I said, just doing it, like having this room makes me like, oh, I come in here, I can right. create, I can whatever. And, you know, and I have it decorated how I want. And he was like, um, and his thing is just, that he it's that thing again like i said you got to have that hustle mm -hmm. and when he's say uh, you know he's made some things for his twitch page it looks cool but he's like i want to do vod video on demand stuff where i record he said i thought it would record my stuff and i could put it up there but no you got to do something separate to record it mm. to be able to use it and throw it on youtube and i said and he goes, but I don't know how to make an intro and stuff. And I told him, I said, you can make it on your phone, on your iPad. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I told him how Micah, one Christmas, he's taking pictures and video of us when we just walked in. And we're getting ready to open gifts or whatever. And he's taking all these videos and pictures. And then all of a sudden he's messing with his phone. And he goes, hey, Mom, come here, sit down. I want to show you something. Dad, sit down. And he throws it up on Apple TV mm -hmm. and plays this m movie. And they go, when did you make that? And I go, that's amazing. Like, he just made that. Right. I go, he was standing over there, putting the title in, putting the music in, and did it. And so I told Chip, I go, you do that? I go, Joe's 16-year-old. Uh, can, can I have Micah's number yeah, to see if yeah. Micah can, can show, show me how to do this and beat my wife? <laughs> I said, 16-year-old, Joe's 16-year-old son has his, that one nerd. Do you nerd. think I could pay Joe's son <laughs> to uh, make an intro for me? Uh, I, it'll be conducive to my Patreon <laughs> taking off. That's a big word, Chip. Um, and uh, so I was like, you can just do it. Like I said, me, I use Apple, you know, movie, iMovie, whatever on my thing, and I just put that up and I throw it up there. And I said, you know, it's fun and it's whatever. I wish so, him the best. I hope so, that you know if he's got the equipment. I hope that he. I hope that it works out for him and that yeah. it takes off. You know. Yeah. I, it's it's just interesting with like my wife and I. Like she said December. I said November, and he's already like stopped. You know. So it's like you know. He beat you both. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, she goes. And I had told him, I said, Sean was going to get his roommate to order some pictures. I said, I was going to do it. But Sean and I said that you'd be like, no, I'll just draw it later. Like, I'll get it to you in mm -hmm. a couple months. And I said, so we were going to do it. And I said, and Sean was like, it's cool if he can have you. Like, I said, him and I said, if I could draw Batman choking my mother or something, mm -hmm. like, yeah, send me that picture. It'd be cool. But they'd all look like. But, yeah. But the same same thing that I asked him, I said, not to copy it directly, but I said, I want a new artwork for the podcast. Mm -hmm. And I said, could you do, like last podcast on the left, I sent him that picture of their, you know, their main cover. She's eating a sock. And, um, oh, tell her to stop. stop. She'll run away with it probably. Is that my good sock? Probably. No, it's mommy's sock. Go ahead. Okay, go for it. Yeah, she wants to. Uh, um, but. See this um, this podcast used to be so much more professional. We would close the door. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And now it's just free range. I'm surprised we haven't seen fucking chickens coming in. And well, because uh, wow, where do I live? Um, look, she wants to play. Um, that's because when I do, then they scratch at the door, and and then I start realizing, well, they behave. They don't unless, like you heard earlier, the dog was barking outside. But my point was, so I told Chip, I said, if you want to do me a cover art like last podcast on the left, but like caricatures of us doing like weird shit, like something like Sean would have uh, a gun. Like all you'd this. have to pay me. And he and yeah. I go, how much? I go, how much to do that? And he never responded like $1, to that. Fifteen hundred dollars. And <laughs> I know. Oh, I need to pay Joe's uh, son to do that. And, and I gotta pay said, yeah. Micah. And I gotta pay to Micah do my to intro. Train, train me. Yeah. And um, I need to make sure that on the artwork it says. Uh, you know that it's yeah, made by Chip my Reeves trademark. 2017 I make a trademark. Yeah. with a link to my Patreon page. <laughs> That's right. So now his thing is to play the video games, 
to show his artwork in the background on his video or whatever. Hey, and look at this artwork. <laughs> you guys can watch him play Destiny. Look at this artwork. Sean's it's like my guardian. This Sean's new invitation. This is my guardian back here. Uh, <laughs> this is my male guardian. <laughs> This is my female guardian. You could see that she's kind of got a bump in her chest where her where her boobs would be. That's the only difference between my guardians. Um, <laughs> and this is my hunter, and this is my titan. Again, they they look identical. This is a young guardian here. You, yeah, I'll I'll put the blue line up here on my green screen. His face is um, smaller it's than just the other. Smaller <laughs> than the other ones, but it's pretty much the identical. It's it's pretty much the same. Um, my hair, st my hair, very 80s, uh, very 80s hair. Detail. Uh, everybody has uh, a mullet, and my, uh, <laughs> my guardian has a mullet. Uh, if anyone would like uh, some of this artwork, um, I'm a little bit behind, uh, but if you go to my Patreon page, uh, I, I promise I'll get caught up on it. There's an IOU <laughs> on the Patreon page. Uh, I promise I'll get caught up on it. Um, the, the categories are uh, $1.00. Uh, gets you everything <laughs> um, and then um, if you pay seven dollars you get everything from the one dollar tier uh, plus the blue lines uh, <laughs> if you need to know what blue lines are you can just look up on the internet google yeah, blue line artwork chip reeves yeah. thanks <laughs> all right i'm gonna go back to playing now <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Oh, pew, pew, pew 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 <laughs> um uh guy thing um that's hilarious. She uh, so now he's gonna pay eleven ninety nine for Twitch to have some kind of thing. You pay eleven ninety nine and then you can your video will be up for like sixty and then days an and then another uh, instead of four ninety nine on Facebook to promote my yeah. Facebook Twitch live stream mixer um green screen patreon um my link is <laughs> like an entire spreadsheet yeah. long um because there's so much i'm i'm very connected you might want to check me out on linkedin <laughs> um i have all the best artists on there uh chip reeves uh todd mcfarland <laughs> um jim lee Hugh grant yeah you grant <laughs> <laughs> well and that's like he told me um he said that he needed um that he needed uh what was it paid that money um fuck it was something about that uh, oh his youtube he said i have my youtube page but it's not a name so he said i didn't even add that to my list of stuff and i said i said well like i told you i said you need 25 people to subscribe i don't have 25 people subscribing to our podcast channel yet and we've been so, doing it for a hundred yeah. episodes. Yeah. And I said, so <laughs> please like, ri like, rate, like, and subscribe. Yeah. I said, still though, I throw it up there, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, still share the page, whatever. So, and then, oh, and then that was another thing. So, like, I said, but see now, Philip, when that game starts coming out, and I start yeah. streaming on Twitch, and I yeah. become a big Twitch person, yeah, then. Then oh. people are going to search out my name. That's true. Yeah. And then they're going to find the podcast and they're going to be like, I want to know uh, what's going on yeah. with this guy. What's so Sean I might about? need you to uh. take all these down because if I get real famous yeah. and stuff like that, some That's of the right. stuff I've said on this podcast, you're going to have to charge me be, too. Yeah. probably be, you know, held against me. Plus, yeah, you're going to be having all this revenue coming in. Yeah. I'm going to need a piece of that. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to start my Patreon yeah. page now. Yeah. Just so. The, you yeah. Know, get, so get ahead. Get of in the on, the, on yeah. the floor. Exactly. On the ground, yeah. ground level. Yeah. That's Underneath the Under basement level. Before. Foundation. Yeah, that's right. Foundation. Yeah. You yeah. got to build things yeah. on a solid foundation. That'll be, that'll be great. Um, I got to get Chip's information so I can have him do some cover art for me. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, but that was, uh, what was it? it was something like that but anyway it was uh pretty hilarious and uh just funny that like i said that his he just thinks that he can just make it and it takes some hustle oh that's what delusions was, of grandeur yeah that's what i was was uh something about it, it was something about the w anyway it was something about how so yeah i was flying I, was, I just got this new game but, um <laughs> it's uh uh, Grand Theft, uh, not Grand Theft Auto, Grand Turismo Sport, yeah. and uh, I'm really good. I got like the highest lap time on a track, <laughs> and so uh, I put it up on Twitch, and yeah. it got a hold of the Grand Turismo people, and they <laughs> saw, it and they were it's like, "Wow, you're you're really good you're, at this game," yeah. and so I I think 
that they're going to fly me out. Uh, they contacted me on Twitch, <laughs> and it was um, Gran Turismo Sport at Hotmail dot com. So it's got to be official. <laughs> yeah. um, they need me to send them a thousand dollars for the plane tickets until yeah. they until I can get out there and prove to them uh, on their system that, that I can I'm really do this and that you're you and then I'm me yeah. and then they'll pay me back twice uh, the amount and then they're gonna sponsor me. Yeah. I'm gonna travel all over the world <laughs> and I'm gonna play Gran Turismo Sport. Do you have to uh, do you have to yes. go get some iTunes cards and bring them back a hundred? No, I had a credit card. Cards. They oh. they just were oh, able to take my credit card it. right oh. over the phone. That's I cool. I told That's my cool. wife. I didn't tell her yet about it. Um, yeah. you know that I that I did this, but it's gonna. I think she'll gonna, be fine. It's gonna it. explode. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be huge. Yeah, huge. Well, uh, yeah. You well, you told me about how when you went to, when you go to the big conventions for Twitch or Mixer. Like you're, it's easy. I have, just log in I have a line. I have a line of people that want to, meet me. That are going to, yeah. That yeah, yeah. That, yeah. It, that it hasn't Twitch, happened Twitch yet, Con, but you know, TwitchCon is coming up. Yeah. And the that was the other. Oh, I meant to tell you that yeah. Twitch reached out to me. Oh. And sweet. said that they have a, a separate booth for me at TwitchCon. That's awesome. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And so. you only had like one video so far. Yeah. That's it, amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. To see. Wow. Um, Funny thing uh, with that. Thanks, Chip. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they were saying that it was on a on a podcast I listened to about video games, mm -hmm. and they were saying that when they interviewed or when they surveyed kids between mm -hmm. whatever age and thirteen, fifteen, or whatever, like what they wanted to do when they grow up, mm -hmm. eighty-seven percent or something said they wanted to be YouTubers. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. like I was telling Sandy, I'm like. Any of the YouTube people that you listen to or anything like that, they're like, it's not. They're like, I work harder doing this. And now with mm -hmm. YouTube and like the ads that they do, and if it's not viewer friendly or not ad friendly, they just completely demonetize it. Yeah, you know, yeah. PewDiePie you know? stuff, Phil yeah. DeFranco's, anything mm -hmm. like that is all all demonetized. Yeah. Um, they're like, the, the amount of work that you put in mm -hmm. behind the scenes, yeah. editing and putting mm -hmm. it all together, scripting it. They're like is more work than you would work in an office job, making yeah. you know fifty thousand a year. Yeah, you're, you're doing your that, own boss, but you're but your own boss. Yeah. But you're working your ass off yeah. doing this. And Sandy was like, she goes, yeah, she's like, I was selling stuff on eBay. Like she would buy stuff, and she you yeah. know has good fashion, all this stuff, and she would sell stuff on eBay. And she's like, the stuff you would have to buy to be able to take the proper pictures, and then the questions that people would ask, and you yeah. know this and that, and she's like, it would take up your entire day. Yeah, and you know some of these people would make a, a good sale, make one good sale, and make you know however much money. Yeah, but that doesn't account for the thousands of hours you're putting in for all the stuff that you break money, break even on, or lose money on. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it's like the behind the scenes shit is ridiculous. Well, it, it's the same thing. Like that's what I was gonna say about Chip was. So I had written him and I said, "Hey, what is that thing that your wife uses?" His wife will put up a thing on her Facebook page. We're almost finished. Put up a thing on her Facebook page, and it'll be like a meme, but it'll have writing on it. And I'm like, "How does she do that?" And he didn't respond, so I went ahead and found a meme maker myself and made it and sent it and said, "Never mind, here's what I got," and I shared it with you. And then he was like, "Oh, uh, you and have I to go send me ten dollars on my <laughs> Patreon yeah. for that link to that thing." <laughs> and I go, "That's the way it's done." I said, "So I just you didn't respond." I said, and I just was like, "I can do it myself," and I found a thing and I did it. And he's like, "Yeah," and um, and I said, "What you need to do is um." It was back to the thing. Dang it. Now I forgot what I was going to say. It was a thing about, um, ah, damn it. it was a, oh, it was the hustle. So I was telling, I think I told you, but I told him this, this superwoman girl, like she'll be flying all around. She's been on, um, she's been on Chelsea lately and all that stuff. Like she's a YouTuber. And I said, she's got her vlog channel and she's got her regular channel. And I said, but she'll get from flying around, she'll get into the hotel room and go, now I got to write my script. I got to do my video now because it's supposed to be up tomorrow. And she gets maybe two hours of sleep and finishes the video. And it's just that hustle. And that's what I keep telling him. And you have to like have that said, drive. Like if that you don't have that drive. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Same thing with, you know, he should have just kept doing the drawings and kept all that. But uh, 
That's our show now. Thank you. It's been an hour and 20 minutes for our wow, special 100th episode. Show. Yeah. Thanks for being there, all you loyal listeners. Uh, yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave us a review on iTunes. Five-star yeah. reviews. Uh, yeah, so get us yeah. to the top of the page so that more people recognize us. Let it, you let your family and friends know about us. Definitely. Uh, if you need us to do any speaking engagement... <laughs> Uh, reach out to the chipness we'll at playstation.net twitch slash the chipness we'll be with him at the twitch con at twitch con we'll be and, uh, and just hanging out um, and glamming on his glory yep yeah so um and then go to facebook.com slash it's kind of funny podcast uh give us any topics that you think we should talk about um and next time sean and i talk it will be about manson and uh maybe 9-11 conspiracies but um all right uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks, and, uh, everyone. Yay. Bye. Bye. Can you really deep throw balloons? Do pregnant strippers make us swoon?